Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I make this 3D print phone case uh, using this 3D scanner, uh, CR Scan Laptop X. Using the scanner to uh, 3D scan this phone and make a solid model. Then I use this solid model to cut into a clay so I can create this phone case in less than 15 minutes. The software that I use is 3D Substance Modeler, which is uh, very easy to use. Okay, let's get started. So I make two scans. First I scan the top and then I scan the bottom and then I will merge it in Clearity Scan software. So the material of this phone is very reflective. It's glass. The rule is simple. If you can see a reflection of yourself on the surface, then you need to uh, apply spray. SKDS2. This is a developer spray for a welder. Uh, you can also use uh, a dry shampoo. We do just fine. And make sure that your phone has some IP rating so that after you spray it, you can wash it in the water for cleaning. The side here is plastic, so I don't need to spray it. Okay, then I will scan the bottom part first, and then I will come back and spray the other side. Okay, for the size of this object, I will choose 0.15 for the resolution. And then I will use uh, parallel lines, automatic export show. Uh, the object move. It moved during the scan, so I need to uh, start over again. So I will use clay to support the fonts. This one is to slip. Okay. Ah, we'll click that clear buttons. It will clear all the scan data and then we can start again. Before I make the new scan, I will go back and splay the other side. Okay, I make another scan, 0.15, automatic exposure, and the parallel lines. Okay, let's start scanning. It's important that you scan the edge of the phones. We need overlap area for uh, merging. Now we have uh, finished the scanning process. I uh, wash the phones and then they come back and process the white cloud. Okay, let's start with the back one. 0.15 639,000 point Okay, here's the front 0.15 Okay I'll merge it uh, Manual merging Front, back Because we have a reference 
on the sides so we use the buttons as a reference one one two two three four okay start exit merging so we have over 1.2 million points so I face it 1.2 million okay start matching okay so complete I will export this model as an OBJ going to import the phone okay here we have it Fifty one minutes for printing. So I leave it to cool down and then I will rub it. I print this with the ABS filament so it's not very much in flexibility but I like it more than the TPU because when you put your phone in if you use the TPU case you would know that when you grab the phone the edge here is moved because it's too soft so if I use a TPU and put it this thin it will move and it, it feel unsecure when I hold the phones. Uh, the cutout is aligned perfectly. USB-C port. 
no issue and also the cutout infrared speaker and I don't know what this one is it's all aligned the cutout for the camera is also aligned uh, here's my preference for designing a phone case one is that I need a large chamfer I like it because when I hold it, it's kind of make a phone uh, feel like it's smaller. It fits better in the hands too. I don't want this phone to be like super thick. So I just make the back of the phone just past the top of the camera. So it's just a little bit taller than the camera. If I put it higher, yeah, the phone will be thicker and it doesn't feel very good in hand. I like a screen to be flush with the top of the case. Like when I swipe, won't be in the way. But you may want to raise it up like 0.5 mm or just a bit so that it will protect your screen if you don't use the screen protector. So I didn't make it right the first time. First one, second one and the third one. I tell you some tip for designing phone case. First that most of the phone, the back side of the phone is curved. You probably can't see it, but it has a slight curve, convex curve. So if you just use the 3D model of the phone to cut directly into the case, it's going to create a contour layer because uh, I print it on this side and the uh, printing layer height is 0.2 mm. So it's great. This, uh, not really nice contour here. I fix this by that I use a box to cut a flat plane into the phone and I leave the edge here because the phone need to rest on the edges. So uh, after cutting, not much, it's not a deep cut, it's a shallow cut. A second problem is that, can you see the power button here? I didn't cut the edges here, I stick out. It's in the way of the thumb. When I raise my thumb, it's in the way. And also here, it stick out too much here, the edges. So I make a third version. This is the third version. See here, I already cut edge here. So it has uh, some place for my thumb to rest on. It's not in the way. The old one has a uh, edge here. And I also add a lips here, small lips on four corners here. So that I can place the phone face down. So I, can I hope this video helpful for you to make a, a phone case. Uh, thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.